out comes flu season and there's a lot of hype out right now and it seems like it's more and more hype every year in regards to the flu and the flu vaccine and a lot of times I even like to refer to this as scare care. Uh, there's scare tactics that the media uses and uh, pharmaceutical companies use to, to make you think that in order to be protected from the flu you've got to get the flu vaccine and I have a lot of patients that ask me what my thoughts are on the flu vaccine and you know it really doesn't matter what I think it really matters what the research shows on the effectiveness of the flu shot so that's what I'd like to share with you today is some of the research that that has come out over the last six or seven years showing uh, how well the flu shot works and if this is really something you need to to take and then on our next video you'll want to watch for in the next couple of weeks I'm going to share with you nine natural strategies and tips you can use to bolster your immune system to reduce the likelihood of getting the flu or any other types of contagious infections like a cold. So to begin with, just let's look at the effectiveness of the flu vaccine. In 2012, they put out a study at the University of Minnesota regarding the efficacy and effectiveness of the influenza vaccines and found that current influenza vaccine protection is substantially lower than for most routine recommended vaccines and it is considered suboptimal. Uh, this past season, 2012-2013, the CDC reported that the flu vaccine had a 56% efficacy rate. Uh, you know, this, this is not that good of a, an outcome. And even with some of the strains that they looked at in the flu vaccine, they saw where people over the age of 65, the effective rate was as low as 9%. 9%. So I, I wanted to look a little bit more into this and I, I went into the Cochrane database and the Cochrane database is one of the largest uh, nonprofit groups that takes all of these studies and hundreds and thousands of studies on different health related topics and reviews them and does a meta analysis to see how effective these procedures are. And I saw five different postings in the Cochrane Review since 2006 that I'd like to share with you. The first one is it's the available evidence of, is of poor quality and provides no guidance regarding the safety, efficacy, or effectiveness of influenza vaccines for people aged 65 years or older. Number two, influenza vaccines have a modest effect in reducing influenza symptoms and working days lost. There is no evidence that they affect complications such as pneumonia or transmission. Number three, there is no evidence that vaccinating healthcare workers prevents influenza in elderly residents in long-term care facilities. Four, there is no evidence that the flu vaccine is any more effective than a placebo in preventing influenza in children under the age of two. The studies involved 260,000 children aged 6 to 23 months. And the last one is that there's little evidence available that the flu vaccine is effective in preventing influenza in children under the age of 2. So this is a, a review of hundreds of pieces of research on the flu vaccine. And you know with all this hype, uh, just recently some of the head people in these areas uh, have, have voiced their, their concern about this. Uh, one of the ones most recently was May of this year, 2013, in the British Medical Journal. An article was published uh, that was written by uh, Peter Doshi at the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine. And basically he was calling out the U.S. public health agencies for engaging in disease mongering and misleading marketing. He further pointed out that there are proven risk with the influenza vaccines and the studies surrounding influenza and its vaccines are of low quality and do not match what the officials are claiming. The last one uh, here is that the director of the Center for Infectious Disease Research and Policy, Michael Osterholm, uh, said that he questioned the effectiveness of the vaccine and basically put it this way. He says, we have overpromoted and overhyped this flu vaccine. 
It does not protect as promoted, and it's all a sales job. It's all public relations. So there you have it, folks. And make sure you check out our next video on the nine natural tips and strategies that you can use. Thank you.